Hey anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. For today, we're in for a treat. Hammer and I were just driving up and down the coast until we found this beautiful spot over here. It's basically a cliff. I'm gonna do, I guess, some cliff fishing. I haven't done this before, but I do know this is gonna be very prolific because there's rocks, there's structure. I see a whole bunch of kelp over to the left, really far out. There's a whole bunch of kelp beds. I don't think I can cast that far, but if there's kelp beds, there's gonna be a lot of fish and maybe some of them are making their way back and forth. So we're just gonna do something very simple today. We're just gonna do fishing with shrimp. Very simple, not complicated. It's just gonna be some just fishing with some shrimp. I'm gonna do what I always do, a high-low rig with like a size four or a size six hook and just have two pieces of shrimp ready to go. And yeah, so I'm gonna head on down the cliff and just give it a shot, see what happens. All right, guys, I'm at my little spot. Found a nice little place that's still high up from the waves. I saw them splash earlier. They can get pretty high. I'm at a good spot where I'm not gonna get splashed. I know we're all jokes on this channel sometimes, but please, 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 if you guys ever do something like this, be extra safe. Have the appropriate footwear. Have the appropriate pants. Have the appropriate whatever attire you need. This is no joking matter. You fall once here, you could get seriously injured. And if no one's around to help you, you could be in serious trouble. So please, please, please be extra careful when you guys are doing anything of this caliber. All right, like I know I can go down there. I know I can go down there too. And honestly, I probably would be fine, but I'm not trying to get myself hurt just fishing. Just trying to like have a good time and come home to my wife in one piece, you know what I mean? No broken bones, no broken anything. Just gonna go ahead and show you what I got for today. So here's my setup. I got the Daiwa M-Cast again. I'm using the Daiwa M-Cast a lot because it's an 11 foot pole. It's perfect for surf fishing, but it's also perfect for this type of fishing or fishing on the jetties because of the long reach. It'll help me get up over a structure. I got a torpedo sinker. I'm using a four ounce because it looks like the waves are crashing pretty hard and there's a whole bunch of seaweed. I, I wanna see if I can make my way through the seaweed without getting caught on anything. I'm using a size four hook down here and another size four hook up here with my usual high-low rig. I'm using size four so I can get some big pieces of bait out. If I'm getting nibbles but I'm not landing anything, I'll swap to a size six or a size seven like I normally do for perch just to see what's around. Maybe the fish aren't too big, but I highly doubt this place looks really prolific. I see a whole bunch of kelp. I see a whole bunch of rocks. That means structure. Fish like to hide around structure. The bottom of the rocks are also encrusted with mussels, which means that when a mussel dies or something happens, they're gonna be feeding around these areas. Or if the waves bash something down, like maybe a tiny crab, they're gonna be eating that stuff. So there's gonna be fish around and like I said, just be incredibly careful. Always watch your footing. Your eyes should always be on where you're stepping. It should never be focused on anything else but where you're stepping. Once you have a solid footing, then go ahead and look away. I'm just trying to reiterate how important safety is for this. We're all fun and games, but we're not trying to get hurt. And I don't want any of you guys to get hurt doing something like this as well. I'm all rigged up. I got a piece of shrimp on the top. Got a piece of shrimp on the bottom. Like I said, Watch your footing first before you do anything else. I found myself a nice stable ground right here. This will be good. All right, I'm good right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cast. I already told you guys that fish like to hang around the rocks. They like to hang around structure. So my first cast, I'm not gonna go very far. I'm just gonna cast right in between right there between all the three points that rock that one and that one and just give it a shot so here we go first cast into this very scary cliff good spot okay another thing to mention when you're fishing next to a whole bunch of rock when a fish bites and you know it's on you got real really fast you got real like hell what you're gonna want to do is tighten your drag because you don't want it to slip at all. When the drag is loose, you'll be able to let some line go when a fish uh, bites. It's a way to fight the fish and tire it out if you have light line. As soon as the fish bites, I'm just gonna reel as fast as I can and try to get it up above these rocks right here. Okay, it looks like something is trying to take it. Maybe. 
But then again, like I said, it could be the waves just pushing me against the rocks. It's really hard to tell here. It's been long enough. I'm just going to go ahead and reel up and see if there's anything on it. Like I said, reel up really fast. You don't want to get caught in these rocks. So that's what I'm going to do. It looks like I lost the top shrimp. Maybe something went for the top one. You want to know what else is funny? As of right now, the highway that we're at, they're filming for a movie or something. We already got stuck in traffic like for a good 20 minutes total going up and down. Now, I'm not entirely sure what movie they're filming for, but that's what's happening right now. And it's kind of funny because I'm over here just fishing and Amber's on the cliff higher up just watching me dance around like a little chicken. So just gonna go ahead and lob it there. Might be getting nibbles already. I'm not entirely sure. It felt really small. Oh, yeah, that's a nibble. That's a real nibble. Come on. You want them shrimpy boys. Oh, reliable. Don't fail me now. Just getting a good chunk of nibbles. If you guys are watching the rod tip, it's shaking up and down with the nibbles, but it's also shaking with me. I know I'm on stable ground. I am a little bit nervous and that's okay because I've never done this before. And that's what this channel is all about, trying new things and making the most of it. So it's either the fish nibbling or it's me. All right, I think I got, I got one. Nice, he's really small. Okay, I wanna say it's a walleye surf perch. I don't know why, I wanna say it's a walleye. Let me go ahead and get them off and then throw them back. All right, there we go. Just gonna make sure I get good pictures of each of his features to identify them better. Okay, little black tips down here. All right, big white eyes. Ooh, some bars here. Okay, I still want to say it's a walleye surf fish, but I'm not gonna identify him now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get him back. So, oh boy, this is so scary. All right, see you later, little guy. Thanks for playing. Oh, I hope he's okay. I would go down to release them. I really would because I don't want to like hurt them by doing this, but it's not safe for me to go down at all. That's my first fish right there. I swapped back to the size six hook because that's just what I usually use anyways. I think I'm tangled on top. Yeah, I am. So let's give this a shot. Casting it back, same spot. Getting a nibble already. Big wave splash too. I'm going to reel up and check. Come on. Come on. Crap, yeah, I think I'm in the seaweed or it pushed me in the rocks. All right, I might have to snap my line. I'm gonna teach you guys how to snap your line if you ever get stuck and you can't get out. Tighten your drag, which I already did. Hold the reel right here and just go straight back. There you go. And you're off. All right, we back in it. I'm gonna cast back, same spot, maybe a little bit farther. I think the waves pushed me into the kelp bed, which pushed me into the rock. That was no good. I'm just gonna cast a little bit more out. I think this time, as soon as I feel like I'm getting too close to the rocks, like I can see my line, I'm gonna go ahead and reel it up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reel up. Uh, no, tell me I'm stuck again. Man, uh, I snapped my line again. Man, okay, that's, that's really rough. Maybe I'll use a smaller sinker, like I'll get thrashed around, but I think the big ones are getting caught in between the rocks I can't see. So I'm gonna swap maybe to a size two ounce torpedo. I already lost two four ounces, so if I lose this, I don't want to lose any more weight. I brought plenty, like don't get me wrong, but there's just something sad about losing all these weights. Give it another go. This is two ounces, pretty light. Felt like there was some trouble reeling up. Didn't lose the weight. So far, so good. I'm gonna cast it again. Now I'm gonna try it back to the left where I've been losing all my stuff. Nibble, nibble. No more nibbles, reeling up. Yeah, just gonna be quick about it. I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna be super quick about it. Check for nibbles. If it stops, reel up. Don't want the waves to bash my stuff. I'm gonna try a slightly different spot, move a little bit more to the left. Gonna see if I can cast in between all this stuff. Okay, maybe not. I really wanna just cast right there. You know, I'm gonna go for it. See that little spot right here? Probably a stupid idea, but you never know. Yeah, it's way too shallow there. Way too shallow. I, so I was watching my bait float. I'm gonna try right there. Looks like I'm getting stuck in some seaweed, so I'm just gonna try to get myself out. That didn't work. Oh, shoot. I have launched it up the cliff. <laughs> okay, that was not ideal. See, the thing about kelp is they had to have a place to anchor to. So when you see like that, like kelp there, generally they're anchored to some type of structure like a rock. Now, of course, structure is good for fish, but it's also bad for getting your line stuck. All right, I'm just gonna reel up. Uh, might be seaweed. Yeah, I think it's seaweed. 
Man, this is really rough. This is a lot rougher than I would anticipate. All right, this spot isn't working for me anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and move to a different spot. Maybe get a better angle on this. Oh, I see a spot right there. It looks so stupid that it might just work. Oh, I really want to try it. I'm, I think I'm going to try it from right there. I think I can. Like this rock right here looks like it's still dry. I'm just going to cast down there and hope for the best. And if I lose my line, I lose my line for doing something stupid, you know? But I really want to try it. It just looks so inviting. A little hole right there. Yeah, I can reach it. I got an 11-foot pole. I can definitely reach it. Oh, I got something. I caught something! Oh my gosh! I caught something in that little hole. It looks like a baby cabazon. Nice! Right, is it? Maybe. Hold on. I'm gonna go back up and take care of it. Oh, yeah, well, you look at that. Yeah, it looks like a baby cabazon. It has that blue meat. And it looks like he's really chunky. Really small guy. Gotta throw him back safely, but I can't believe that worked. I only did that, honestly, just for fun. I mean, I had an inclination there might have been a fish, but I didn't expect it to work. So, here we go. Baby cab. Gonna go ahead and throw him back. Alright, thanks for playing, little guy. Wah! Honestly, I'm gonna try that again, because that was so funny. I can't believe that worked. I mean, of course I can believe it. I'm awesome. But, that was just so funny. I only did that just to mess around. I'm gonna try it again. If I catch another one, like, oh man. Okay, dropping it back down. Could this be my new secret honey hole? And it's literally a hole. Whoa. Yeah, maybe it was too good to be true for a second time. That's all right. That was still really fun though. I'm gonna just try a little bit longer. I think I got a nibble. Maybe, I think I did. Yeah, too good to be true. Oh well. But why not try a little bit farther up? There's a nice little crevice right here. I'm gonna give that a shot. Got splashed a bit, but no big deal. Not gonna try that. Let me see where else I can go. I think I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back where it's a little bit more secure. It's a little risky here. Oh man, what's an easy way to get back? Honestly, do not do what I'm about to do because this is probably the easiest way. Oh, okay. All right, let's try right there. There's a big wave. I might get wet. All right, still pretty good. Another big wave. Okay, pretty good. Oh, come on. Yeah, the seaweed's got it. I'm gonna have to try to get it out. I lost my weight again. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it out. Now this is the vantage point I need. Chug it out. Well, not getting any more bites from here or around. So I think it's time to move to a different spot and try that because I've been here for a while. I haven't caught anything since the Cabazon. It's been maybe like an hour or so. New spot time. Well, my GoPro managed to mess up while I was trying to film the outro. So here's just some B-roll of me just doing some fishing and I'm going to do the outro right now. Uh, thanks for watching guys. It was a lot of fun. I've never done this type of fishing before, so I didn't really know what to expect too much, but I do know now what I need to do for next time. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!